One, redundant backup. Center backup. To set certain sender as backups, under the design page, right click on the sender icon. Choose sender backup from the pop up menu, then choose the sender that needs backups. For example, if we need to set sender 3 as the backup sender of sender 1, right click on the icon of sender 3 and choose sender backup from the pop up menu, then choose sender 1. Once the sender is set as backups, a backup icon will show up on the left side of the backup sender and backup related information will show up on the right side of iSET. Netport Backup Besides setting backups between senders, iSET can also set backups between senders' netports. For example, if we need to set netport 1 as the backup port of netport 4, right-click on the icon of netport 4 and choose Port Backup from the popped up menu, then choose Netport 1. Once the Netport is set as backups, a backup icon will show up on the upper right corner of the backup port, and backup related information will show up on the right side of iSET. 2. Type Management On Type Management, we can manage all the product types. Choose Type Management from the menu of the Added Cabinets to enter the Type Management window. Click on the New Type Group icon on Toolbar to create a new type group. Click on the Add Type Group icon on Toolbar. Choose the corresponding type group in the computer to add a type group. Click on the Add Type icon on Toolbar. Choose the corresponding type file in the computer to add a product type. We can rename type groups or product types in type management. Click on the delete icon on toolbar to delete the selected type groups or product types. Click on the clear icon on toolbar to delete all the product types. Please note that the cabinet types that come with iSET are built in based on the LED screen manufacturer's products. These parameter files cannot be deleted. For the export function in type management, we can export the selected type groups as a folder or export the selected product types as a product type file. 3. Save Cabinet Parameters Click on the iSET icon on the upper right corner and choose Advanced Authorization from the pop-up menu. Input the authorization password. After the advanced authorization is successful, we can save cabinet parameters. Right-click on the selected cabinets and choose Save Cabinet Parameters from the pop-up menu. If the cabinets are added through Reback or Customization, before saving the cabinet parameters, we need to choose the cabinet type. If a product type matches with the selected cabinets in Type Management, directly choose the matched type when saving the cabinet parameters. If no product type matches with the selected cabinets in Type Management, then we need to click on Browse and choose the corresponding cabinet type file from the computer. If the cabinets are added from the existing type on Type Management, Directly click on Save Cabinet Parameters when saving. We can set Gamma Value and Calibration Status from the popped up window of Save Cabinet Parameters before saving the parameters.
Besides directly choose Save to Cabinet to save cabinet parameters, we can also choose Save Current Port, Save Current Center, and Save Screen from the drop down menu. Besides choosing Save Cabinet Parameters from the popped up right click menu of the selected card, we can also right click on the center and choose Save Cabinet Parameters from the popped up menu. We can also choose Save Cabinet Parameters from the popped up menu by right clicking the Netport icon. Four, Cabinet Information. If the cabinet information has been set inside the cabinet parameter files, we can view the information in ISAT. Choose the cabinet that viewing cabinet information is needed. Right click on it. Choose cabinet information from the popped up menu. ISAT will pop up a cabinet information window. We can view the information of these cabinets on here. Five. Auto create cable connections when adding cabinets. When adding cabinets, ISAT will automatically create cable connections. Starting from the first cabinet, ISAT connects the cables by following the direction of the mouse. Connect horizontally first and then vertically. For example, if adding cabinets by dragging the mouse from upper left to lower right, the direction of cable connection is from left to right, from top to bottom. Starting from the first cabinet, if we hold the shift key, the cables are connected by following the moving direction of the mouse. First move horizontally and then vertically. If holding the shift key while adding cabinets by dragging the mouse from upper left to lower right, the direction of cable connection is from top to bottom, from left to right. That is everything for the ISAT Advanced Tutorial.